As designers, time to create is one of the most important tools we have at our disposal. Though technology's made it easier to create faster, there are still opportunities to work more efficiently, giving us more time to create. The process of making patterns and designer is already advanced, but there are tools in the rest of the suite that can make it even better. By bridging the gap and working efficiently, we can create our patterns more effectively and have more time to build our portfolios. If you've been creating patterns in designer and want to learn ways to make the process work better for you, welcome to class. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Capone. I'm an artist, designer, and your instructor for this class. I spent most of my 20 years in the corporate world as a project manager where efficiency was crucial for success. As an artist and designer, I like to figure out ways to make the apps I use suit my needs, even if it means using tools in ways they weren't originally intended. In this class, I'll demonstrate several ways to optimize the affinity suite for pattern design so that you can work more efficiently and effectively. The Affinity Suite is part of my everyday creative process. I've been using it to design and create patterns for sites like Spoonflower and Society6 for the last few years, and I've had the privilege of being spotlighted by Serif, the makers of Affinity, as a teacher to watch both here and on YouTube. We'll begin class by taking a look at linking assets, which will allow you to take motifs you create in Designer, even flat vectors, and link them up to the Asset Studio in Photo so you can access them seamlessly from both apps. Next, we'll learn how to save pattern templates that have all of the symbols, artboards, and more needed for pattern preview. This will give us a new canvas each time we create a pattern without having to start from scratch and without bogging down our home screen and slowing down the app. From there, we'll move to Studio Link, which allows you to seamlessly jump between the apps in the Affinity Suite, avoiding a lot of time-consuming exporting and importing when you want to use different tools in different apps. After that, we'll take our first look at pattern layers in Photo, and I'll show you how you can sketch out a pattern design while Photo seamlessly tiles it in a standard repeat, allowing you to visualize your pattern before you begin building it, saving you time up front. We'll follow that up with one of Affinity Photo's best efficiency hacks, macros, which will allow us to automate some of the more repetitive and manual parts of the seamless pattern process. I'll show you how to plan out and create macros for both the basic and half drop repeat for use on both the desktop and iPad versions of the app. I'll also show you how to quickly adjust your macros for various canvas sizes so you don't have to do a lot of rework. Next up, we'll take our second look at pattern layers in photo and I'll show you two ways to use them to test your basic patterns, whether you're already working in photo or working in designer. From there, we'll head back into Designer where I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to test basic repeats right inside the app. When you take the class, you'll receive a set of three basic and half drop repeat macros that I've created in three canvas sizes. A macros can only be recorded in the desktop version of Photo. So for those of you who don't have it, or those of you who would like to follow along with the class and try your hand at making them later, I've got you covered. As a bonus, I'm also providing a set of three macros which will allow you to test your half drops in photo with a single click, something that would normally be a manual and very time consuming process. To use all of the efficiency tips we'll be discussing in class, you'll need the complete affinity suite, either for a desktop or an iPad. If you don't have the full suite, there are still several tools you can use. Check out the about page for more information. This class is for intermediate students who have experience creating patterns in either designer or photo. We won't be covering the basics like setting up the canvas, creating motifs, or making perfect patterns. Instead, we'll focus on technical aspects of creating patterns and explore tools that will make the process more efficient and fun. If you're new to designer and pattern design, I recommend starting with a beginner class in both before taking this one. Are you ready to level up the pattern making process in Affinity and make it work more efficiently for you? If so, come join me in class and I'll see you there.